morning everyone. I hope you've all had a good week. I am just about to go up to the cabin. I thought I'd just give an honest chat about where I am with that transition painting in a bad, bad place. <laughs> it got in a terrible mess yesterday and I couldn't leave it alone. I found myself in that vortex, that painting vortex, that place where you can't stop. You just keep going and going and going and you know that you're making it worse. You're not making it better, but you can't seem to stop. Wet paint, muddy paint everywhere. It was so bad. And I was just thinking, driving back from the supermarket, rather than just bin it or give up, the best thing to do is to look at the painting in the ugly phase and to have a conversation what elements do you like what don't you like what's working what's not working compositionally what is needed to give it balance color contrast do the colors need to be sharper stronger more muted i can go in this morning now and try and see with fresh eyes even if it's just a few marks to move me forward with that painting and it's just about having an open mind, having an open mind and having faith in the process that you might hit a bad spot. Why did I touch it? Why did I start? Oh, so many times I have been there. And I think the whole idea of using your sketchbook in a with the same mindset. I'm not precious about it. You need to feel the freedom. The more that you apply the same mindset that you practice in your sketchbook, the more you will apply it to your bigger paintings. That comes from practice and it's not easy. It's not easy if you've never, if you've never had that mindset. So I came out of the cabin yesterday feeling a bit grumpy that, God, what have I done? I, I thought to myself, oh, I'll be able to show, look at, look at what I've done with my transcription piece. Uh, no, <laughs> look at my mess I've made. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because as I came back down to the house, it's just a phase. It's just another phase along that that painting's got to go through before I get to the end result and I won't give up on it. Don't give up on, on your paintings, just keep reassessing and, and have faith in the process. Right, I'm going to finish my tea and then hot foot it up to the cabin to see what I can do. Here we are then. I... I've put down, I've used this morning, I've gone direct into the paint and straight on with this skinny little palette knife. I've never really put paint down quite like that before, which is interesting. I'm really trying to find something different here. This might not stay, but I'll let that dry and then see, see what might come next. worked for about nearly two hours. I think I've tried not to try too hard this morning with it. 
It's a beautiful morning. I've had the doors open and I think I feel better. I feel better about it. I feel calmer about it. We've just had a little trip to the north of Yorkshire. We got as far up on the coast as Whitby. Beautiful coastline. Lots and lots of cliff walking down into bays. Beautiful, just beautiful landscape. And when I look at the photographs, which I'll put in, it's really interesting that they are the same. It's a version of the same photograph that I've been taking for years. The cliff edge, the fence and the foliage or the undergrowth or wild growth that occurs in that in that boundary. It's really beautiful to me. I take these photographs of landscape and I don't paint landscape and I don't know how to approach painting landscape because I've never done it. Then coming back and just by pure accident coming across the Joan Eardley painting, all her paintings are beautiful. I actually thought maybe I can lean on on her painting to help me make an attempt at a landscape. Referencing also the photographs that I took in Yorkshire. So that is what I'm full of. That's what, what I've got in my head at the moment. And it almost feels as though I'm at a point where I feel and I want to tap into it as much as possible, a feeling of um, just slowly, slowly pushing, pushing my boundary in what I'm painting. I want to explore further. I don't want to do what I now know. I want to take it somewhere different. I feel that I want to investigate this whole landscape thing. You are, as a person, constantly evolving, changing. You build, you build upon your foundations as you move forward and go through life. And I feel like now is the time that I want to see if I can just take another step. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. Thank you for watching this week. I hope you'll come back and see what's happening next week.